Howdy, Possum Patty and the entire Soggy Bottom Bunch and visitors and yeppers. All the goodies I got at the flea market are here. Yeppers, you remember I had my bag packed full of things, but there was so much to show in one video. I just had to break it up into two. So I'm going to show you the rest of the things that I got in that haul. So come on along. Okay, I've got two of these for a dollar. I like the vines with the leaves on them. I like to put those on my journal page in gold. I thought gold would be really fun to use on a page. Two for a dollar. So these are originally $3.99, but I'm sure you could have gotten it half off. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, they put things on sale. So it would be $2 and $2, but I got two for $1. So 50 cents each. Not bad. What else do I have here? I've got Marie's Acrylic Color. This comes from Job Lot 4.99. I actually have one of these already. I poked them all to see if they were soft. <laughs> and they're all soft. Yeah, I bought one already, but use a lot of this um, inexpensive acrylic paint to do uh, gel plate printing and everything. So I figured, well, it can't hurt. It can't hurt to have another set. So originally $4.99, I got it for a dollar. Got it for a dollar. Put that down there. And let's see. This goes with something else. Oh, I got this Valentine set here. This Valentine set. And these are Studio G's 12 glitter stickers and Studio G 12 chipboard. Sorry about the glare. And Studio G 24 glitter alphas. They all go together. Well, there's a paper that goes with this. I've got to check the stash I already bought from James and see if I already got the paper or if he hasn't brought the paper out yet. But I bet you somewhere along the line, I'll find the paper that goes with these. When I get things from James, it comes out to about a dollar, like a dollar a piece. So I'm sure they're worth more than a dollar a piece. Actually, I think I looked these up and I found these for like, I think it was like $3.99 and $3.99 and $4.99 for the chipboard, something like that. So about $10, I get it for about a dollar a piece. And oh, here's some things down here. Oh, I, got, I got a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I got these Mambi sticks. Some are glitter and they all have those little foam glue things on the back about baking. I know I already got some baking papers that this will go with. I need to do a journal page about baking, yeah. But I thought these were fun. Got a lot in there for like a dollar. Now this was a great deal, right? Donna Downey, if you know uh, Donna, she's a mixed media artist and her uh, signature things are kind of expensive. There's a price on here, $9.95, yeah, $9.95 for this stencil. Is that Donna? She doesn't look like that anymore. That must be a really old picture of her. <laughs> Go to www.donnadowney.com. 2014. Yeah, this is like 10 years ago. Yeah, oh, she's changed a little bit. But I love this mixed media stencil here. Of course, you know me and my flowers. My flowers. Very cool. You know, a dollar, right? $10. $1. Okay. Oh, this is really fun. This is another IO impression obsession. No man stamp. On the back is a price $11.79. $1. I love this. This would be really fun to do watercolors on. I need to just sit one day and stamp, 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 and then sit and Play with watercolors. Oh, this is a pack of paper. And original prices on these are like three dollars. And this one, 
got some really cute kitty stickers in here. I don't know if you can see these. There we go. Do it like this. Really cute. And then there's a couple of sheets of scrapbook paper in there. Really nice. I have some of this paper already that I've gotten from him. The big kitty on there. Love that. And then this one's Halloween. And this one's got <laughs> googly eyes with it. And it's got spooky page. And it's got, I love this tree with the pumpkins hanging from it. Got a couple little accessories with it. I don't know why. I think this is one of those deals when you go to like a scrapbooking party, they sell you this. This is double sided. It's good paper. Oh, this is three papers in here green one. Ooh, I like this. I like this side too, though. Mmm. That's going to be hard to choose which side. Okay, so those are like a dollar each. Oh, and I got this. I'm saying a dollar each because I get a big pack of things for like one price. So I know some things are little and some things are big, but it all averages out, you know, to, to a good price for everything. And this is a really nice Anna Griffin. I just thought that was so pretty. Smile. Very springy. $2.99. And look at this one. October is my favorite color. I'm going to sort through there and put all the October things together and all the winter things together. So I can use some of this stuff for my journaling. Funny bones. I don't know. This. Oh, actually, I found this one online. And brand new. Yes, brand new for funny bones. Um, stamp. $7.50. $7.50. Crazy. I paid a dollar. <laughs> for a dollar, I'll have a lot of fun with it. $7.50. No. I found another pack and I was looking for this. Remember I said if I, I saw another one of these, I'd pick it up. Small stamp and die storage, 50 of them in here. You know, now that I have all these new stamps and dies, I need something to put them in. And this, I wrote this down over here. And this is eight dollars and 72 cents i found this online for eight dollars and 72 cents with 50 in here i paid a dollar 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 oh and i also got this recollections gold embossing powder i know i bought one before but that's okay i bought another one i like gold oh mr possum bought something for like, I don't know, it was like four for a dollar or three for a dollar or something. But he only wanted one thing. So I said, well, give me a couple of those little packs of playing cards. I can use that. Use them in my journal. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Stuck together a little bit, but I can get them apart. I don't see the kings and queens and jacks. Oh, wait, I didn't take everything out. I didn't count them to see if the whole deck was here, but it looks like it. Kings, Queens, Jacks, Joker. I think they're all there. Aces. I said, oh, that'll be really cute to put in a journal. Ooh, and you know what? Look at these little boxes. Hmm. Wouldn't that make an awesome little journal? And the cards could be the pages. <gasps> oh, something like that. Oh, I have some other little journals I was going to make, right? Well, I got two of those for like 25 cents. And all these things came from James. <laughs> I was picking out so much stuff. I said, oh, let me put it in that blue folder. So I kind of got the blue folder for nothing. He said, did you do that last week? Is this the second one you got? I was like, no, I didn't get one the week before. I just put everything in a little plastic bag. But this will come in handy. 
put things in, right? <laughs> and it says pets. <laughs> Somebody was very organized with all their ephemera and scrapbooking supplies and has it labeled for pets. And, oh, I got this beautiful winter sticker. Jolie's Boutique. It's really nice. And these orange envelopes. And this comes from, um, Simon says, stamp, slimline orange peel. But I figured, oh, those would make great pockets in a Halloween journal or any fall journal because of the color, right? So I've got to separate everything out, fall and winter, fall and winter. Uh, I got a little pack of paper, beautiful double-sided paper. I think it's new. And this is Vicky Botan, Botin, Vicky Botin. I don't recognize the name, but you might. I hate these little things on the side. Pull it off. Seven dollars and ninety-nine cents original price. I think I paid about seventeen dollars from one lot of things from him, and like twenty dollars from another lot of things from him. And I just thought this was really pretty, double-sided. Look at the rainbows paper. Some of it looks like mixed media, which I really like. Look at that. I love the color. Gorgeous. Pencils and rainbows. All double-sided. Look at that. So we're going to throw everything on the floor. <laughs> I'll clean it up tomorrow. And we got Holy Night Kaiser Craft, $6.99. Like I said, it averages out to like a dollar, a dollar a piece for what I get. And these are for Christmas. Well, the Christmas roses here, but underneath is the uh, nativity. We got the nativity and more Christmas. Oh, there's a lot in here. I haven't opened this up yet. Oh, these are gorgeous. Well, let me show you this like stained glass window, a bunch of those. And we got the angel, believe in the miracle of Christmas, stars. Oh, here's a larger one. Yes, all kinds of things in here. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Oh, it's got little joy to the world, family moments. <laughs> a little bingo, believe, love, peace. Oh, I love that. And just little swirly bits there to decorate your page. Christmas traditions. And we got more nativity back here. With stars. I like these. They're so old-fashioned looking. Very vintage. Look at that. Quite a variety of them, too. That one I showed you already. Yeah, so there's a lot in here. Does it say how many pieces? Various sizes. It says over 45 pieces. So whatever that means. <laughs> over 45 pieces. Good deal for a dollar. Around that price. Dollar or less. A dollar or less. Okay. Throw that down there to get sorted out. Oh, I love these. These are uh, little doilies, little tiny doilies. Look at these. Look at these little tiny doilies. Nine of them, recollections. You know, I'll be putting these in the journal. And, oh, here. When I got to um, James, I told him, I said, I just got one of these stamps for free. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, okay, but he wasn't going to give me this for free, but that's okay. I bought her because now I have two different ones. I have a set, <laughs> a set of Julie Nutting stamps, yes. <laughs> and I got some dies. Oh, and this is another Julie Nutting, right? This is a Julie Nutting um, with a raincoat, an umbrella, a hat. That's part of the umbrella. Well, I'll punch everything out. We'll see how that goes together. Julie nutting again. Throw that down there. Oh, here's some more winter ephemera. And this one is 33 pieces. 
and these aren't as vintage looking, but they're really cute. Look at the fox on there. And they're just winter, wonderful winter. Thanks, snow much. Snow much fun. Winter fun. And snowman. This is just for winter with snow and winter greetings and you're so cool and all that stuff. Winter day, white winter. Cute little snowman. Winter wishes. All dressed up with snow place to go. You have earned your hot cocoa. <laughs> Keep it cozy. Winter, I like that one. Snowflake kisses, warm winter wishes. Yes. Happy winter. Well, I'm not going to think too much about winter now because, you know, I'm focusing on fall. <laughs> but I will sort out all the Christmas and winter things into one pile and the autumn things in another. Ten card. Oh, this is interesting. Center step card, it's called. Specifically die cut and scored cards that fold in a funky way to create an awesome dimensional card without the work of cutting and scoring. So I have to figure out how you how you do this. <laughs> Ten cards with envelopes. Oh, here's the, here's the directions here. Front of card. Front of card. Front of card. Okay, front of card. Mountain fold, mountain fold, valley fold. Original price on here is $7.29. And I figure I could use this in a journal, right? Glue this down to the journal page and then, you know, Ten cards and ten envelopes. Well, this will give me something to play with. I'm always looking for something new to put in my journal. Can I get this back in here? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm getting there. Oh, so I got some more dies. Bubbles, bubbles. I know I have another bubble one, but... You know, <laughs> I made it part of the lot. And this was a really pretty star. It's got a lot of texture on it. And so I'll be trying these out for sure. This one might be really nice for Christmas. So two dies. I think just two dies here. And yeah, two dies. And a couple of stamps here. And this is, again, for winter. Get your snow. Oh, embossing. Oh, I'm going to try this with embossing. If kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. Like mittens in winter, you warm my heart. And look at the three little kittens with their mittens. Isn't that precious? And I don't know what this costs. I'm sure it costs a lot of money. <laughs> and look at this one. Happy fall, you all. Give thanks. It's going to be great for November journaling. The little hedgehogs. Nobody has a possum. They always give hedgehogs. They always give hedgehogs. And hedgehogs don't live in this country. Yeah, they have like some pet hedgehogs. But they don't have wild hedgehogs in this country. They have possums. Possums and squirrels and bears. Yes. <laughs> Not hedgehogs. You've got to change people's thinking. And look at this one. Oh, look at that gnome. Look at the flowers. This isn't a thank you card. It's a hug with a fold in it. Aww. $12.99 for this set. But I love that little gnome. Oh, he's going to be perfect for watercolor, right? Stamping Bella. Love it, love it. So I've got three stamps there. Expensive stamps for probably around a dollar each, right? All right, see, I know everything is going to go everywhere. There's Christmas. I already got separated. This is very, very shiny. Let me get rid of it. And it's just some white cardstock. I don't know if there's 10 sheets in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven sheets in there. 
10 sheets for $3.95, but they're not all in there. The pack's open, but that's okay. I'll use these for stamping. And then I found another Fresh Cuts to go along with the ones I have. Look, Nature Walk. I love this. Yes, I've got those other ones that you saw when I was putting on my journal page. And this goes perfectly for my journaling. And then I have this whole collection of cat things here. And these are somebody's old calendar pages, but it's all cats and dogs and things like that. And then a ton of cat stickers. These look like Mrs. Grossman's. I love these though. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Mrs. Grossman's kitties. And then Catitude. More tiny kitties. More kitty kitty. Stray cat. Finicky cat. I love mice. <laughs> Furball. And kitty paw print. And more catitude. And little pixie stamps. Aren't these adorable? Little pixie stamps. Ooh, can I fit these in Pixie's journal? <gasps> Ooh. Mm. I'm going to put these in, oh, these, especially these tiny ones. Yes. <gasps> oh, Pixie, where are you? <laughs> these are for Pixie. Yes, these are for Pixie. So I got my fresh cuts. I got my kitty stamps. What else? Oh, here's another pack of that stuff. This one is five sheets for three fifty. Wow. Wow, this is really thick. Wow. Super super thick cardstock. I bet you that'll be good for watercolor. Throw that down there. And at the very end here, oh look at this. <laughs> I need that back. Look at the caravan camper. Little squirrel. Little marshmallow on a stick with a little fire. And look at these buttons. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh, these are ki all kitty buttons. Oh, I didn't open it. But there's fish and paw prints. And a milk bottle. Kind of like a little dish. Oh, you just glue them on your journal page. They're not buttons. They're just little three-dimensional things to glue down. Oh, and there's a kitty in there. There is a kitty in there. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, kitty pile. What's left? Oh, there's <laughs> more stuff. And this is a wire-wrapped cat that has green beads on it. Well, that'd be fun to put on a journal page. Somebody got half off. I don't know what it cost. And a little ribbon with the little tiny kitty paw prints on there. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's so small. And let's see. I think two more things. Bow Bunny Sugar Glimmer Spray. $6.10. I don't think it's ever been opened. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so, because the directions are still stuck to it. Hmm. Okay, we'll try this out on something. Sugar Glimmer Spray. And $3.40 for, wow! Whirlpool Embossing Glitter. Really pretty color. That might look nice on snow, right? Beautiful light blue glitter. I got spray. I got glitter. This is the other one I got last time. This green. Okay. So I think, I think, I think, I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Wow. <laughs> Wasn't that the best ever junk journal supply? 
Paul from the flea market. I know it took me two videos to get through it, right? <laughs> I will definitely be busy all winter playing with my new goodies. Even if I don't get another thing from the flea market this season. Yes, I have plenty between what I got last week and what I got here. Yeah, plenty, plenty things to play with. And I have so many ideas for all these things already. Well, it's going to take me a while just to sort this out into fall and winter and, and other things, right? Well, thanks for letting me share all these great bargains I got with you. Much appreciated. I know it was a lot. Had to do it in two videos, but mm, yeah, now it's done. Now I got to put this stuff away, right? <laughs> thanks for coming along today and happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.